because you, you know there is need for him to come back. It's part of the neg negative publicity. People were really talking about, um, uh, uh, saying about us. And uh, I, I, I must say that your contribution, those of you in, in diaspora, yeah. you know, have really assisted us a great deal, you know, because I in particular from my local government, uh, I knew some houses I've gone to, so we were, my son, my daughter, her brother has called me and said, look, we should vote for this man. And let me tell you, Cumbria Governor is a godsend to the Edo State people. That is a man that has touched every village, every nook and cranny in Edo State. There is no village that you've gone to today, there is no local government, there is no world that you've gone to today that you will not see red roof. When I mean red roof, those old class rooms that were abandoned, you know, this man who resuscitated, have built them up, have rebuilt them, furnished them. Not only resuscitated the old ones that are already they may be, been abandoned, built new ones. Likewise, in the area of health center. Not just building these uh, structures, but build it and equip it. Build a classroom and furnish it with a new modem. You know, we suffice you to know that people no longer take their words now to private schools. They now withdraw their children from private school to second to 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 public schools now. You know, also introduce free education at all level, from primary one to S GSS to SS uh, three. You know, this is a man in the area of uh, from the education to health sector also provided infrastructure. There is no local government where you will not see about four to six roads being tied by the Cumbria governor. Coming to the area of uh, prudence management, like I just said, all these regulations, if not for the Cumbria governor's support, why would it have been able to achieve them in the budget ministry? And this is a man where a state, where they said, oh, where this is a state that cannot work, that revive it and make sure that the state is working today because of his prudent management. He ensured, that is why, all these measures we put in place in budget ministry. Don't forget that I told you it's a, it's a technical ministry. That is why the monetary and evaluation department is there. That is why the the, the warrant system is there. That is why we have the planning department, very solid department, to ensure yeah, what, where one cobalt is meant for, that one cobalt will be spent for. And the governor is the only governor today in the whole country, I can boldly tell you that, that when he gives out a contract, if he, he, has, he leaves his office, in person, he go for his passion to ensure that that contract that is given, that money that is given to that contractor, that money is used for that contract. In a week, Cumbria governor goes out more than eight times to inspect projects in Edo State. You can go and find out. Well, that's thank you very much. That's very honorable. You. Uh, you mentioned the issue of uh, uh, education, uh, refurbishing schools, but is it evenly distributed? The refurbishment of schools, is it um, concentrated in no, one no, area? No, 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 no. I said go to every ward. When I mean ward, um, in a local government, we have what we call, we have ward there. The local government is, at times, some local government is divided into 10 wards, as the case may be, into 15 wards, you know. 
some uh, 16 words. Each of these words in the local government, for instance, the local government where I, I come from, that is Esa Notice local government, Uromi, we have 11 words. This level word in Esa Notice local government, there is no word that I don't have the presence of Comrades Adams Ali Oshomole in the terms of you know, the provision of schools, health centers, transformers, roads. It will suffice you to know that. Even, let me be very practical here. In my local government, for instance, the first road uh, look, um, the Comrade Governor tied, he did not, he, he does all his job putting aside whether you are from his or political party or, or not. The first two, three roads he tied in my local government were tied in Chiptoni and Nenis village. You can go and verify today the best road today where Mark was structured with gutter on both sides from Iswa. Or the behind Chitunyanani's house, down to um, uh, Uzenema, there's another one from Iswa to Arwe Road. There's another one from uh, Arwe, Arwe, Arwe Road. In short, three roads. One for Uzenema, one for Arwe, and one for Iswa. Yeah. Honorable, there, se there seems to be a lot going on in the area of education and um, um, roads. Roads and health center. Roads and health center. And, and job, cre job creation. creation. And job creation. Um, but let's look briefly at the area of security. Yeah. Uh, in Edo State, there's always this talk of um, kidnapping, robbery, daylight robbery and other security issues that are becoming alarming. What is your government doing about it? Thank you very much. Yeah, first and foremost, let me tell you that depression, uh, there is this wrong depression many people always have about in those states. Yes, security, um, though it's not supposed to be the responsibility of the state because, you know, the state we don't control the police, Nigeria Police Force. It's the federal that controlled the Nigeria Police Force and all the sec other security apparatus from the mm -hmm. state security service to the Nigeria Army and the rest. But the states, are, are, we are just complementary. But based on the challenges of those days, those past, we, the Congo government had to take it upon itself to ensure that there is adequate security in Edo State. You know, for instance, today, if, you, if, any, if any event were to take place in the whole country, it's Edo State that is the most peaceful state today in the country because of the enabling environment and because of the network of security that the Comrade Governor has provided in Edo State. This issue of kidnapping, robbery, is, is already a thing on the past in Endo State. It's something that, yes, in those days we used to really have it. But I know, yes, in a society we cannot really totally rule out crime. There might be pocket of crime uh, here and there. But not the way people used to see it, people used to, to see Endo State so in what those days. Saying, what they're saying is it's not rampant anymore. It is, we don't... I can say today, 90% of all those robbery and kidnapping in those states have gone. How did, what was the magic behind it? You know, the, there's this saying that, and I don't mind, is a devil's workshop. What Comrade Governor had done was to ensure that there's this, what we call, a scheme that is he established. That is the Youth Empowerment Scheme. It's for the graduates, the, when I mean the graduate, those that uh, graduated from the universities, the polytechnic, the NC holders, and so on and so forth. Even the school set. We had to make sure that the 18 local government in the, 
in the state, the chairman of the local government, the traditional chairman in the, of this local government, have been given opportunity to go to their various world. Don't forget, I, I told you earlier that we have what we call world, and we also have what we call unit. So this unit, you look for those that have finished school that don't have anything doing, get them employed in the state. After getting them employed, you train some of you train them, some of them into agriculture, some of them into uh, environmental sanitation department. So even some of them in the finance department, because just recently about 68 was posted into my ministry. Though some of them presently now are undergoing um, uh, training. Uh, training. Since country governor came into power about four years ago, he has uh, employed nothing less than 3,500 3, youths in Edo State. Because of this, that is why you see that uh, there is, you know, drastic reduction in area of robbery and uh, uh, kidnapping. In those days, you used to see robbers coming to Benin to bust banks and other other more, but that is no longer in place again. Okay, um, Honorable, let's go back to the election that you know brought Oshomole back to power. You are from Isa Northeast. Yeah, and you are very correct. Isa Northeast used to be PDP. Even when you contested the election, Eastern East was seen as a strong um, PDP area. So it was like you were fighting against the odds to win in that very area. What happened in the Oshomoli election that you know eventually brought all of them from PDP to ACN? Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, I said earlier that. I, for one, I left PDP 2009 because of the going, because of the way things were being run in that party. I, I don't also forget that I told you I'm a founding member of that party. It's on record. Most people in this country today, most people in Nigeria today, that are now maybe some are the chairman of the party, some are the treasurer, beauty of the party, some of the trustees of the party. We're not even there. We're not even there when PDP was funded. But some of us take us ahead. But when it is we're not going the way it's supposed to be, so some of us left PDP. So coming to your question, yeah, don't let it be a surprise to you. Yes, when you say a scientist was really the stronghold of PDP, yes, you are not far from the truth at all. Because first and foremost, the home base and the local government or the former board of trustee chairman of the P PDP, which is Chief Tony Anani, is also the home base of the, uh, of the present minister of works. That's also the home base of the, the 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 present House of Representatives representing the former old Agbazilo, you know, in the, at the federal level. It's also the whole base of the former, or if it's not even the first House of Assembly member in Constituency 2, Honorable Vicent Ogun. It's also the whole base of the the the, 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 the the oil magnet, you know, which is Chief Tony Lobe, is also the whole base of his whole son, who is a member of the House of Assembly presently. It's also the whole base of so many other political heavyweights, the local government. But let me tell you one thing. There is one thing uh, some of us don't really face to realize. A society is only very dynamic. Urobi people in this or not is local government have been oppressed for a very long time. They have been suppressed for a very long time. They have been, you know, dehumanized politically for a very long time. They are this 
There are ways you fight a man. At a point you push the man to the wall. He will tell you this time around, let me react. The reaction was what you saw in July 14, 2012 election of the Cumbria governor. These are people that have been very obedient, that have been very loyal to PDP. These are people since 1999 when the true democracy for good 12 years, they have nothing to show from all their suffering, you know, for certain people. I must tell you at this point, when you are doing something, or even when you are working, you should be able to have something to show. At the end of the day, I say, this is what I, I can show for this job I've been doing for the past one month. The people in the local, in my local government, in this notice, in Romeo in particular, Romeo Zaya, have nothing to show from the government of the PDP since 1999. That was why Oshomole is known from Romi. For instance, Eta Romi started from Ivwe. Ivwe, Obedu, which is World Two, where I come from. You will see, when you drive into that junction, the first thing you see will start seeing red roof. School built by Oshomole. You start seeing water. Tankers, you know, overhead tank. Boho sang by Adams, Chief Adams Oshomole. If you go further, you start seeing the network of roads constructed by Adams Oshomole. If you go further, before government school, you start seeing health centers. Today, you, there are so, several youths in Urumi that can tell you they are now workers in council. They now work in the states, you know. They now work in the various MDAs. Then when you get to government school, you start seeing Red Roof. Beautiful school. The day you get home, you will not be able to recognize that school. Then when you go a little bit after the Onoges Palace, you get to St. Anthony. They call St. Anthony, but now Puget Primary School. One of the most beautiful schools. You will go further, you will get to Ifandion. You get to Kuni, you get to uh, uh, Avendokia, you know, you get to all those uh, Awo and the rest. Go to Zaya, then go to Ewoyi, mm. Ewoyi Afuda. You so, see, you see, you see what I'm coming. You see what this man have done. It's not from Murumi. He did not care that at the last election I brought him into power, Muru people did not vote for him. But he came in there. But here we are. We have, you know, we have been voting for PDP. We have been saying, oh, well, because this PDP party came through Chief Tony Aneni, we have to respect the party. We have to respect the, the person that brought it, which is Chief Tony Aneni. So we voted for them. They've not done anything. But let me tell you one thing about the election of 2014 was not about Chief Tony Aneni at all. To, to, humiliate him, you know, to defeat him in his own time. But indirectly, it was. The man himself has tried. If the way he had opportunity, he make it some people, he some of Urumi's sons and daughters, in turn, those ones were able to, not were able to, let me not use that word, were able to, agree to, also, the, the God-given position and then Chief Tony and then he had put them, use the position to attract good things to Urumi. Use the God-given position, use it to employ those guys, that, those, those youth, those timid youth in Urumi that finished school, that have no job today. My brother, Urumi would have been a mini London. Because at a point, Romi used to be the powerhouse in the whole federation. Because I, I, I witnessed it. They meet from the east, west, north. They used to come to Romi to seek blessing that I want to contest this. I want to be governor. I want to be senator. 
But today, you know, all this culminated was the revolt against the so-called uh, the oligarchy of PDP in, uh, in our local government. That is why we all rose up and said, look, enough is enough. Enough is enough of this cheating. And because that is a party in Nuromi, in, that don't want to Romi people to know exactly what is going on. That don't mean well for our people. That is a party that was a dictatorial party to our people. You will never have a free choice. When they see somebody that want to perform, if somebody that will, if he comes into office, he'll be able to perform, they will ensure that person did not see the light of day. That was what I told you, 2006, 2007, you know, when I contested with them, even in 2011, for the House of Rep, then it was a daylight robbery because everybody was sharp. I was there, I had to go to court as a lawyer, I had to go to the tribunal. Okay. Now, that was why you see we voted out, you know, and never to return again. Go there now. ACN is the one that is the council. ACN is the one that is in the state. But the best, I must assure you, the best is yet to come for the Romi people. All right, okay. Um, remaining on the issue of uh, ASAN and uh, Oromi, you, in um, ASAN on the of the former Basilo, I heard that there's the issue of leadership. Who is actually the leader of ACN? And um, what the discussion that have been ongoing is that never again would we have one person coming to dictate to the Asian people and to Edo State people what to do? Edo State has to be democratized. Edo State, the Edo life has to have the right and the freedom to choose their leader. They have to have the right to choose their government representatives. Gone are the days, I think, where one person just stand up and say, it is you that is going, it is you that is going to do that. I think it should be the people's power now. But looking at the minor issues that we hear about, there is the issue of the fact that, okay, who is actually the leader of the ASEAN in Eastern Northeast or the Asian uh, zone as a home. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, well, um, I, I know this is a very difficult question, and at the same time, it's not a difficult question at all. Uh, let me tell you, first and foremost, a leader is born. A leader is not made. Correct. That is something that is very clear. No matter what, how you, you struggle to, to, to impose yourself on the people, you know, if God says you are not the one, because he's the one that is the ultimate supreme that give power. If God says you are not the one, you cannot, you cannot be. The one, yeah. So I think that is the truth. You, then let me er erase the erroneous impression that, well, uh, uh, the ACN don't have leaders, maybe in Urumi, in Nisa, and the rest. No, that is not true. The ACN, we have a leader, a very formidable leader that is uh, overseeing the party affair in the state and in the local government, in the, in the senatorial zone, and in the, in the whole entire ESA, and in the country. Because our leader, our national leader today is Chitomi Kimi. Chitomi Kimi, you know, a renowned architect and a erudite scholar and a, 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 a wonderful uh, politician. So uh, under him, we also have other leaders that, that, uh, that we look up to today. Uh, on the political angle, in my local government, I'm the highest uh, Asian political office holder. Yeah. So which automatically Makes gave me, the uh, uh, which, the, yeah, okay. which automatically gave me the, 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 leadership, leadership the, the leadership position. No, that you cannot take away from, from me uh, from me yeah. for now. Mm -hmm. So now I must say that um, mm, yes, if you are talking of maybe during the election, I coordinated our local government. Every other person worked under me. From the centurion 
leader, to the party, local government chairman, to every other person. They all work under me. You're coordinated by you. Yes, it was coordinated by me. Mm -hmm. I, I was the coordinator. I delivered the local government for so Shomole. For the party. No, for the party. I delivered the local government for, for the government, for the comrade governor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, because everything that came, it came through me. Uh, it was coming through me. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, I masha everybody. The only thing I know I did was um, set up a committee that worked with me. You know, we we have um, we have a committee that I call the dream team that that work with me. That because we have to zone the local government into various uh, into various uh, area to ensure that really that this thing is uh, uh, the, the the work the, the the election go on smoothly. Smoothly, yeah. And uh, so, which is really the case. So I think. That is the position. So, so the issue of leadership the, the, in um, Eastern North is political. Looking at it from the political structure of ACN in Eastern North East, would be your own responsibility. Yes, yes, yeah, that is that is the you that 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 is said to. It's not an arguable. It's not a dispute. It's not a dispute at all. You can go and to the you constitution. Would be the, you, you would can, be the highest uh, you, government official from that. Society. Yes, yes, I am. I am. You can go to the constitution of the party. You, you, it's very clear. No, very no, clear. No, go no, to no, the constitution of the party. Because yeah. I believe that uh, if you are a commissioner and you are from a particular place, that um, you do have your responsibilities, roles and responsibilities, yeah. and which yeah. automatically makes you a leader yeah. of that very um, zone. You did mention something. You did mention something about um, the local government chairman. Yeah. And I heard that the local government chairman politically you nominated, you brought forward his name. Okay, okay, yeah, if you yeah. say that, that is true. That is very true. You know, unequivocally, that is true. He is uh, he's one of my very trusted boys. We, we, yes, he had, he, the, the present local government chairman he was, was actually based in Europe. Well, can I still say he's based in Europe? Until when he came home to contest election, yeah. since then, um, uh, he when he was really coming to contest election, first time he spoke with me, so uh, I, I asked him to come. Unfortunately, during the the, the during the primary, he could not win. He stick by me when I was contesting for my house of friend. So since then, he was he, he's been with me. So when the opportunity actually. Okay. Came. When uh, governor, saw. yeah, when governor, when the the government of the day gave me the opportunity to say, okay, bring somebody for the council, I have no choice but to 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 nominate to, to, to nominate him. His name. Yeah, to put forward his name. I think that is how I I came, and, and since then he have been doing well. And uh, I must tell you that today, you know, I'm proud of him. He's uh, somebody that has really distinguished himself, in spite of. His um, um, short experience in politics, political uh, uh, feat.